I just wanted to do a really quick review of some of the Naked Sundays products that I've recently bought. So this is pretty much the first time I've ever bought anything from them. And what I got was three different products. So the Golden Glow Body Sunscreen. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it because it's a bit shiny. So I got that one. I got the the basically the body brush to apply body sunscreen. And I also got the three pack of these. Um, so the, you can buy them individually, uh, but you can also buy them as a trio. And these are called the SPF Glow Balm Trios. So I'm going to actually start with this because this is kind of a unique product that I hadn't seen before, but I always thought would be a good idea. So I, uh, so you understand my skin, I have quite a lot of sunspots coming up, it's particularly around this area here. And at the moment I use a very high SPF, it's zinc based, but also has iron oxides, which are really good when it comes to sunspots and that type of hyperpigmentation. But I always think it would be great to have other makeup products that help me like look like I've put a little bit of makeup, makeup on. I like my makeup to be very natural. So, you know, just a touch, but also have an SPF in it, which is going to add some protection to those areas in particular. So when I saw these, which was the first time I've ever seen something like this, I was very excited. So they have three different glow balms. So one is sort of intended to be sort of like a blush, um, a almost like a highlighter, and then I guess a bronzer. And personally, I really like the idea of the blush. And then I thought, you know what? I want to kind of try them all. They're pretty expensive. So an individual one is about $35 Australian. If you buy the three pack, it's 90. So it is quite an expense. I think I got it on sale, so I was like, I'm just going to try them all out. The disappointing thing about this is that they're just not pigmented enough. So I'll open the blush so you can sort of see. So they do actually look quite, you know, pink. I'll open them all. Um, but when you apply them to the skin, it's very, very, very little color payoff. I think in order, so we've got um, the blush. The highlighter and I guess like a bronzer and I have to say the blush gives you a little bit of color but even though that seems really bright there's just not enough um, color for me and I like my makeup really natural so that's saying something I feel like the um, highlighter just gives you more of a kind of not a glowy look but you know, if you've ever used a zinc based or a natural sunscreen, how it's kind of more got a dewy, wet, wet look, that's what these all give you. And actually, the one I was the most disappointed in is actually the bronzer. So I'm not a big bronzer person, but what I thought this would be really good for is on the eyelids. And it just has really very, very, very little color. Like you would have to put so much on to get color. So for me, these were just absolutely not worth my money. They seem to also have quite a lot of product in it. So I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I just feel like it would take you a long time to get through these, which is kind of good. But at the same time, I think they'd be better off, you know, halving the, qu the quantity in this and then reducing the price. So say maybe, what is this? 3.5 grams like going down to maybe like two grams and then selling them for twenty dollars instead of three point five and thirty five dollars um but number one thing they really need to do is work out how they can up the pigmentation because i think that these are pretty pointless at the moment um so much that i might try and use up this one the blush um just when i'm working from home but realistically it really doesn't give you much and also I will say, if you are not into the sort of natural titanium or zinc oxide type SPFs and you use something that is a chemical sunscreen, 
you're probably not used to it having a bit of shine and these are very shiny so if you like a very matte look these are not going to be for you either so yeah unfortunately those three not great then I want to talk to you about the Golden Glow Body Sunscreen. So this is an SPF 50. Um, I tend to stick to um, zinc or something for my face, but then my body, I don't really mind. I'll just go with a chemical. So this is a chemical um, and it has a like, I mean, if you're used to chemical, then you'll know. But if, if you tried zinc, going to a chemical sunscreen, you're like, oh my God, this is like so much thinner and nicer to apply. Um, what I like about it, it has a tint in it, but it's light. And because I am a someone who skin tans, sometimes that can be a bit awkward because at the moment I've got like from down uh, the arm down because I wear t-shirts, you get that tan. And then I wore a tank top, got burnt on my shoulder, which has now turned into a dark tan. But then I have this gap here where it's not really tanned. So I think something like this is really good because it just adds a bit of color and kind of lets it blend in. And if you're someone who just likes a bit more color, then this could be a good option too. It does have like little sparkly pigments in it, which I have to say is not really for me. I don't mind it. Um, interestingly, I've worn it a few times and my husband has not made any comment. So I think he, in his mind, is going, why are you sparkly? But I'm not going to mention it. Um, but yeah, look, it's probably something I will complete the container. I will use. I quite like it. But I'm just not really into the sparkles and I did find that they kind of went everywhere so I only did sort of the top half like my arms and kind of like decolletage and stuff uh, but I was still finding sparkles on like my skirt and that days later so it does sort of get everywhere um, it's probably not a repurchase for me if they ever come out with something very similar without the, the sort of sparkly flex then yes I probably would repurchase but as it is I think I'll just finish this and then find another product and then this which I don't know what they call it but it's basically an applicator for sunscreen on your body and the reason I really like the idea of this is I have tried with one of my um, makeup brushes to apply sunscreen because it's just gross really like getting it on your hands and then you've got to try and wash it off and it's normally quite waterproof so it's just a bit annoying so I really was excited to get this one thing I will say is it's probably not going to work very well with a zinc based one because it's there's so much thicker but with something like this that's a chemical based sunscreen it was pretty good to apply um, I found it pretty easy the one issue I've got with this first of all it is quite small I don't know how to maybe if I show you it in terms of my hand so it's it's a fairly small when you see it online you think it's going to be like this big but no it's it's pretty small but one thing that you don't factor in is getting reaching around like to your back and your shoulder and I don't know anyone that's super flexible but for me you know I can basically get to there and then I'm like oh that's it I can't get any further back so at that point with my hand I can reach a bit further back so what I found is I would be like applying sunscreen here and then when it got to my back it's like oh it's easy to just get it onto my hand and rub it on um, which then defeats the purpose but if you have a friend or a partner who can apply it for you then this is probably a good thing for them because they're not going to get their hand dirty but yeah because of that I sort of got to the point where I'm like is it really worth using this if at some point I've got to switch over to my hand anyway? So that's it really. That is my review. As I mentioned, I think that this one's pretty good. If you like sparkles, then you'll probably like it. The tint in it is quite nice. It's light, but it's just enough to add a little tint to your skin. In terms of the three um, Glow Balm trios, I just wouldn't recommend them. They really need to reformulate these so that they have more pigmentation. Um, I think the most pigmented is the um, the one that goes on your cheek. Oh, I've forgotten what that's called now. The blush. So the one that's sort of intended to be blush, you can get a bit of a more colour. Um, the one that's the, the more highlighter, I mean, it just adds a bit of shine there, which maybe that's enough for you. But for me, it's not really the look I'm going for. Um, and then the bronzer, 
I don't really get at all why you would use this. Um, so yeah, these are a bit of a disappointment. I might try and finish this one for the blush, but I think the other ones are just probably going to go in the bin, which I feel really bad about. But there you go. Let me know in the comments if you've seen any products like this. So makeup with a really high SPF. Um, I'd love to know because I'd love to try some other ones.